Hello, everyone. I hope you are studying and uh, doing all the exercise, the exercise on the uh, on the lesson. And when you write on the comment, I answer you. I really like this, and I'm very excited to give you the lesson today. And we will go to uh, 12B. Let's go to the book. Okay, guys. So now in this lesson, 12B. Have you ever? Of course, have you ever is a um, new grammar. And this grammar we don't have in our uh, language, Arabic language, and in some other languages. But it will be easy. Don't worry. And let's go to exercise number one. Exercise number one is a speaking exercise. We have here three questions, and we will discuss this together. OK? So what we will do. I will ask the question. I will answer the question. What I want you do, to do, okay, to stop the video and answer the question. Talk to me, okay? I will listen to you. And the second question, I will ask the question. I will answer for myself. Then you speak. Don't say, okay, I just want to take information. No. Answer. Speak. Okay, guys, speak so you can speak um, later. So question number one, do you know anyone who is self-employed? What do they do? Self-employed, that means someone who works for himself. For example, I am a teacher. I work in a school. I am not self-employed. Okay, I am employed. So self-employed, for example, I don't work with the uh, school or with academy. In the internet, maybe some, like, for example, from this YouTube, some people, uh, students call me, teacher, I want to take course with you. So I teach on uh, internet, on Zoom. So there is no school, me and the student. So I am self-employed, okay? I don't have a manager. I am self-employed. So do you know anyone who is self-employed? What do they do? Mm hmm uh, if you don't want to speak now, please write down on the comments, right? Yes, I know, for example, I am self-employed. I do this and this. Um, my brother, my father, my uncle, write down on the comments, okay, guys? Number two, what are the good and bad things about being self-employed? If you are a self-employed person, what are the good things? Number one, for me, I don't have a manager. Okay, bad things, uh, I don't have money every month because you know, when you work in a school, every month they give you a salary. I don't have. So I said one good, one bad. I want you to write down the comment, good and bad. One, two things, three things. Okay, anything, you know, please write. Okay, so guys, I give you the lesson. I want you to... Uh, be active with me, okay? Show me that you are really good students and write down in the comment, okay? Number three, would you like to be self-employed? Why Why not? For example, for me, uh, I am, I work in a school. Of course, I want to be self-employed. I don't want to be, to go and uh, to school, for example, every day, wake up early and work all day and come this is, I like working self-employed, to be self-employed. What about you? Mm -hmm. Write in the comments, okay? Okay, so now we'll go to the next exercise. Next exercise, look here, guys. We have uh, photos for three people. This man here. What can we see in the photo here? Yes. He's on the beach. We have a laptop. I guess this is a calculator. Some keys, a mobile. And the weather is sunny. Okay. And this uh, guy, his name is Steve. Steve White. Okay. Travel writer. And here we have these two people. Where are they? I guess they are in a restaurant. Yes. Okay, and they are Lucy and Guy Roger, restaurants owner. So they have restaurants. Okay, 
So what's the exercise about here? Let's see. Uh, so we will listen, okay, and read together. Listen and read, okay? And we will answer this question. Let's make it a little bit big here so everyone can see it. And look, this is the question. Mm -hmm. Do they, who they, Steve and Lucy and Guy, do they like being self-employed? Now they are self-employed. They like this or they don't like this? Okay, we will listen and read together. Mm, let's see here. Like 40. First of all. Track 47. Steve. I love being a self-employed travel writer. I've been to about 40 countries and I've stayed in some of the world's best hotels. I've written travel articles about lots of amazing places. Two weeks ago, I went to Mexico, and last month I spent five days in the Caribbean. But I haven't been to Australia. That's one country I'd love to go to. But for a holiday, not for work. Lucy. We've both had lots of other jobs. Three years ago, Guy was a teacher and I worked in an office. But we'd rather be self-employed and we love having our own restaurant. We've met some really interesting people. Last year, the Prime Minister had dinner here. <laughs> but it's hard work and Guy and I have never had a holiday together. We might go to Peru next year. Guy hasn't been to South America before. Uh -huh. So, do they like being self-employed or no? If you need time to read again, yes, you can repeat the video, read and listen again, and after that, answer. Okay, do you want me to give you the answer? Yes, so, yes, they like being self-employed. So now here we have a word. I want you to check, guys. Uh, we say here, prime minister. Who is the prime minister? Prime, prime minister, for example, we have a country. We have the president, the second man in the country. The second man of the country, he, we call it the prime minister, okay? So next, what we, what we will do next? Mm -hmm. Okay, the next exercise. Now, how many sentences do we have here? Exercise 2B. Mm -hmm. We have six sentences. So what we will do, uh -huh. we will read about Steve and about Lucian Guy and see if these, are, if these sentences are true or false. Let's read together. Steve went to Mexico two weeks ago. He was in the Caribbean two months ago. He went to go. Uh, he wants to go to Australia on holiday. Guy and Lucy were self-employed three years ago. The prime minister came to their restaurant last month. Guy and Lucy are going to Peru next year. Okay. So what we will do? We will read. Okay, about uh, Steve and Lucy and Guy and find. Uh, right if the sentences are true or false so if you have the book is okay if you don't have the book you can take now a screenshot okay about the questions okay take it then we'll move to the text okay then we'll go here if you can read like this is okay for you let's see Mm -hmm. Okay. Or 
you can repeat the part with the uh, listening and you can read and answer the questions, okay? Do it. After that, check with me. Now we will go and check. So, Steve went to Mexico two weeks ago. True or false? Let's see. True. He was in the Caribbean two months ago. Mm -hmm. He went last month, not two months ago. He wants to go to Australia on holiday. True. And Guy and Lucy were self-employed three years ago. Let's see. Uh, three years ago, Guy was a teacher and Lucy worked in an office. So it's false. The prime minister came to the restaurant last month. False. He or she, because prime minister, maybe man, maybe woman, we don't know, came to their restaurant last year. Guy and Lucy are going to Peru next year. Let's see. They might go to Peru next year. Not for sure. Okay, guys. So now... Um, I usually I will do the, the videos uh, parts every lesson, a few parts. OK, so now we took the first part, which is listening. OK, we will stop the video here. And next video, we will start with grammar. OK, guys. So the most important thing that I want you to do, guys, is what? Write your answer for the first question, for the speaking questions. Write down in the comments or speak okay guys so i want you i want to know if you understand what i'm telling you to do can you write okay can you speak okay guys so we'll stop here and i will see you next video but before you leave don't forget to vote like okay guys see you next video goodbye <laughs>